Now you guys may have seen my initial review of the Gestalt X10. This is a bike made by Marin. So Marin designed this bike to be an ultimate adventure bike. That means that you can take it on rough gravel roads, smooth pavement, or even on some single track trail. As I mentioned in the last video, I'm gonna be doing some upgrades to this bike over the summer. And I've already purchased a few of these upgrades. And not only that, I've received some parts from my friends over at Fun and Granite Designs that I think is gonna make this bike even more awesome. Let's go ahead and let's get a few of these parts installed and see how big of a difference it makes. First up is gonna be this GRX crank. Now this is the 600 series GRX crank and it is going to give me a 42 tooth chain ring. So I'm dropping down from a 42 to a 40. So that's gonna be a little bit different gearing than what I'm used to. But not only that, the GRX crank set is actually 68 millimeters wide instead of 73. So I no longer need the spacers that are provided with the original crank set but that's also gonna make my Q factor go down just a little bit. So if you're not familiar with what Q factor is, it's basically a measurement between where the pedals insert into the crank arms on each side. So with it being 68 millimeters, it's gonna drop this Q factor down by quite a bit. Now, some would say a smaller Q factor is actually gonna give you a little bit more advantage, but some people prefer a larger Q factor because it can be a little bit more comfortable, especially if you're going down some rough terrain. Now that we got the crank set installed, I wanna go ahead and install these Granite Design carbon bottle cages. I absolutely love these. They weigh right around 20 to 21 grams each, super lightweight. So I've got a couple other really big upgrades that I'm gonna to do today. And the next one is gonna be this PNW Coast Dropper Post. This is a very unique dropper post. I picked this one up under the PNW Cycle Program, which is their refurbished section on their website and I got it for right around 120 bucks. This 27.2 seat post normally runs about $180, but whenever you go through their cycled program, you can get a really good deal. And this thing looks basically brand new. So what's so special about this Coast dropper post compared to some of the other PNW dropper posts that I've used in the past is that this actually is also a suspension seat post. Not only do you have 100 millimeters of travel, which should be more than enough for a gravel bike, but you also get 40 millimeters of suspension travel. Now I have a very unique way that I'm going to be installing the lever on this. I've seen this done, but I haven't ever done it myself. And we're gonna give it a shot and see if this actually works. But first, my friends over at Fun hooked me up with these awesome looking G wide bars. These are 480 millimeters wide. They have a 25 degree flare and they also have 130 millimeters of drop. And not only did they hook me up with these G wide bars, they also hooked me up with an awesome Tron stem. These are super lightweight stems. This particular one is a 50 millimeter stem, but it has these awesome graphics and this kind of glossy shiny finish to it that I think is really gonna add some flair to this bike. So this next step is extremely important to take your time and make sure you get your bike set up perfectly. Whenever you install drop bars, there's a lot more to it than if you were to just install flat bars like on a mountain bike. You're gonna have to deal with things like the bar tape, you're gonna have to deal with the hoods and the levers, and not only that, all of the cable routing that goes underneath the bar tape. One of the things I prefer to do before installing bar tape is to take the bike out into my driveway and kind of ride it around just a little bit to make sure that the reach and the fit feels absolutely perfect before I start taping up these bars. So I went ahead and picked up one of these 24 millimeter drop bar levers from PNW, and we're gonna see if we can get this installed. I think this may be a little bit trickier than a standard install, but I think I can do it. Now that we got the bars on and we know that they're in the right spot, before we can actually tape up anything, we gotta run all the cabling for the dropper post. This is a little bit tricky because I don't have an internal cable routing tool, so I'm just gonna use a simple pick and take my time and get the cable housing to pop through. Thankfully, Marin actually put in all these cable ports so you can run an internal dropper post. This thing is gonna be awesome.
All right, now that we've got the dropper post installed, the bars installed, the stem installed, even the bottle cages installed, I'm ready for almost the last thing, and that is bar tape. So I went with some PNW orange bar tape. It's got a really cool design on it, and it's super bright and vibrant, and I think it's gonna make this bike just even more fun to ride. Let's go ahead and get this installed and see if I made the right choice. So there you go, after going on several adventures on gravel roads, paved roads, and trail systems, I've gotta say, this current setup on the Gestalt X10 is absolutely awesome. The PNW bar tape is super grippy and it really makes this bike stand out. And let's not forget about the GRX crank set. I absolutely love the looks of these crank sets. They look super slick and they're super strong. And of course, the dropper post, the PNW Coast dropper post is absolutely awesome. And that lever being hidden on the drop bars is super cool. And with the Coast dropper post, you really don't feel the suspension moving all that much until you really focus on it. And then once you focus on it, you start to realize how much this seat post is actually absorbing. And at this point, I don't know if I wanna ride a gravel bike without a suspension dropper post. This thing is super comfortable. Now it did take me a few rides to get it dialed in. I wound up going about 275 PSI, and that just allowed it to not have any sag at my body weight, but whenever I hit those bumps, you can feel it move up and down. And I don't really use the 100 millimeter drop feature on it all that much, but the few times that I have, it's been really nice to be able to get back and behind my saddle. Overall, these upgrades are absolutely awesome. A huge thanks to Fun and Granite Design for sending me these extra parts. And of course, a huge thanks goes out to Marin for sending me the Gestalt X10 to review and allowing me to do some upgrades with. I've got a super special and different upgrade for next week that I'm not really sure if it's gonna stay on the bike or not. But let's just say it's gonna add a little bit more rowdiness. We'll see you guys in the next one.